next, a UFC featherweight division fight. This guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does, when he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, man. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go Ladies to Bruce Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Fighting out of Ostend, Poland, Assassin. And now here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And it's eight to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right under the elbow, body keep playing. Keep your hands up, use your Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, head kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just over two minutes to go. Big 
big fall from punch land. Now he gets back in range. Lee gets hit and crushed with that overhand. Trying to kick the leg out. Seconds now to go on the round. Ooh, head kick Lance is hurt. 30 seconds to go. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Let's go. Set up that high kick there. And he landed the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with our second round. DC almost went to the concession stand in round one due to a lack of action on both sides. I mean, there was nothing going on. These guys may have well been at a photo booth taking pictures <laughs> together as, as opposed to being in the octagon trying to fight. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, big head kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combination. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Just unable to quite find that range. Head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. I need you to pay Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. To stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just misses with the straight right. Leg kick. Connects with the punch there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, 
if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the That's action right, guys, continues at a you high ready? level. Pretty good first five so, minutes. Guys, pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Punch is blocked. the punch. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, huge head kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Oh, a huge block there. What a punch. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Hip over when he throws that kick. Inside low kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Beautiful head kick. Use your defense. Use your defense now. Time winding down. Final seconds of the fight. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to